Because I know you love me. Yes, I do. Because I know you care. Because I know you love me. I will always trust. I will always trust. I will always trust you. Yes, I will. I will always trust in you, Jesus. Yes, I will. Trust in him as your healer. Trust in him in everything that you need in your life. Just put your trust in him. So, Lord, I trust you. I put this into your hands. Lord, I even put myself into your hands, and I trust you to keep me. I trust you to keep me. I give you my heart. I give you my life. And I believe. I believe that you're working right now in my life. If you'll say that, if you'll believe that, then you know what? You'll see the glory of God. But see, God don't get any glory out of anybody being sick and distressed and heartbroken and in poverty because that's the curse. And Galatians says that he's delivered us from the curse, being made a curse for us. Because everyone that hangs on a tree, this is me crucified. Jesus bore that curse for us because he was crucified. Cursed is everyone that hangs on a tree. And you know what? We don't have to live under that curse. We're not under the curse. Praise God. Take him at his word. Believe it. Receive it. And you'll have it. You will have it. I promise you. If you'll do what we said, what Sister Deb was talking about, what we've been talking about, you know what? You can have God, what God says you can have. You can have it. And that's healing and deliverance and prosperity. And every blessing of God can be yours. Every blessing of God can be yours. You can have a long, successful, happy life. But if you rebel, you won't have it. You can't have it. You cannot have it if you rebel and don't believe God and don't take him at his word. Then it's not going to come to you because that's the only way you can have it. Praise God. I'd like to invite my husband to come and bring forth the word of God this morning. Just stay tuned because I tell you what, the word of God is so good. It builds us up, gives us God in inheritance, God's inheritance. Get your notebook. Get your Bible out. Praise you. If you can't see to read, get somebody to get the Bible for you and follow along with you. Follow along with us in the Word of God. Read it for yourself. Believe it for yourself. Amen. Brother Kenneth Gross. All right. Praise the Lord, everybody. Good to be here this morning. You glad to be here? I think it's a, we have a great privilege blessed of God to be here this morning. Aren't you glad he allowed us to be? Amen, amen. Man, we've heard some good words this morning. Glory to God. It's just good. Have you been hearing? Have you been hearing what was said? Praise the Lord forevermore. Let's have a word of prayer and then we'll We'll get into the work. Father, we, and open up your heart this morning. And let me say this before we do. Ask the Lord and be willing and say, Lord, help me hear what you're saying in this word. Help me. Now, now you, if he don't help you, you, you just ain't got no help is all I know. You know, you got to have his help. And he's got to have your cooperation. It's got to be your will towards him and say, Lord, help me. Would you do it? And if you'll do it out there this morning or whenever you're watching the broadcast and say, Lord, help me. It's your word and I want it. And I'm opening up my heart to you. Now, now do it today and let's pray. Father, we thank you this morning 
in the name of Jesus, we, we worship you. We come to you in his mighty name and we say, Lord, we, we love you. We're asking you to help us. Help us. We submit our will to you and we say, Lord, open up our ears and we say we will hear what you say. Our hearts will receive what you say. And we'll be able to see it, what you're trying to show us. In Jesus' name, we thank you for it. And Father, I pray for every person that this be in their life. In Jesus' name. And those that don't know you, that will be tuned in and you're dealing with, I thank you that they're going to come to you and they'll receive you. They'll hear the words. They'll receive you in Jesus' name. And they'll bless them. Bless them. Bless them. And I know the enemy is certainly defeated. He is just that way in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Can you say amen? Now, got a lot of stuff stirring in me this morning. Uh, let's turn our Bibles, and we're going to go there. Proverbs chapter 3. We've taught on this a time or two, but if you'll get your Bible, 